was the idea behind the project? I mean, I think it's awesome. Uh, why? <laughs> to take things that aren't being used and just the idea of people making their own history is a really strong like political statement, I think. And like not uh, a lot of voices aren't heard in like a lot of the books that are at that are made like historically and in the library. So I think it's really awesome. So what do you think of the idea? Um, I think it's great. I think it's great that it's bringing people out um, and teaching them also how to screen print at the same time. So I think that's really exciting. Does it have any personal effect on you what they're doing today? Are you going like, to write in the books yourself? Um, I would love to. I think the idea is really great. And I can't wait to see the finished installation of all the books together. And what do you think of the idea behind I think it's really great. I mean, we are, as I said, a printmaking studio, and a big part of that is um, being able to make multiples, and it's often cited as a really democratic medium, because you can make 10 or 1,000 prints, and it's you know a lower bar to entry, more affordable, um, often incurs in a communal environment like this one. So the People's Library, sort of the idea follows from that, where it's a community sort of shared narrative and storytelling within these books that we're making. And do you think that's something that Richmond needs or there's a lack of? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that, you know, every city having sort of the ability for its citizens to capture their own story and document it in an artistic way is super important.